Hi there, and welcome to this Maximum. So today I want to tell you about a story from a mentor of mine who you probably know. His name's John C. Maxwell, and he's had a profound impact on my life. So John is a leadership coach, and he shared this story about a time when he got to be a consultant for one of the first ever animated movies. And the movie was called The Prince of Egypt. And so from serving as a consultant, when the movie was finally finished, they then asked him to fly out for the big premiere of the movie. So it was red carpets, lights, cameras, like the whole ordeal, right? And he, he goes on to say he, he actually loved it, right? Now, maybe you can relate to this, right? But he says that like many people, he typically is someone who likes to be productive with his time. And so when a movie's done, and over, he wants to kind of be the first one to leave. Or when maybe a, a sports event is over, or maybe even before, he likes to miss the crowds, and again, he likes to be the first one to, to be out there. And so in this red carpet premiere of The Prince of Egypt, with Hollywood actors and directors like everywhere, the movie finishes, and he immediately stands up, because he wants to be the first one to walk out of that theater, like always, right? And then he looks up and he realizes that he's the only one stood up, and nobody else has moved an inch. So then he sits back down and he encounters something very special and unique that he will never forget. And I'm going to tell you this, once I heard this, it changed my whole perspective on how I watch movies. So what he witnessed for the next five minutes was as the credit lines unfolded and as people's names who worked on the movie, when they appeared on the screen, they would stand up and then everyone would shout out words of praise and encouragement and gratitude and they would like, you know, they'd applaud them because you see, this was an opportunity for the people who normally get all of the credit, all of the attention, right? Like the big Hollywood actors, uh, the movie stars, the A-list actors, the directors, like it was an opportunity for them to recognize all of the many people, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant their role was, it was an opportunity to, for them to be thanked for the part that they played in the creation of the movie. And so after hearing that, the story hit me. The most important part of the movie is not the movie. The most important part of the movie is the credits at the end. Because that is the place to give thanks and recognition to people that deserve it. Are you with me? Like, don't we all desire to be seen and recognized? Of course we do. And as a leader or as a coach, a friend, a husband, a wife, father, mother, like whatever role, is it not our duty to help those within our influence to also be seen and recognized? Of course it is. Because Dale Carnegie said this, he said, the sweetest sound to a person's ear is the sound of their name. Think about that for a minute, okay? And another thing, legendary basketball coach, John Wooden, like he would always stress to his players that when you make a basket, like on the way back down the floor, make a point to recognize to the teammate that gave you that pass by gesturing to them, you know, that you see their efforts. And then the part I love most about when I heard this was, you know, one of the players of John Wooden's once asked him, he said, well, what, coach, what if, what if I make a basket and then I gestured it to him and he's not looking at me? Like, then what do I do? And so John Wooden said this, he replied, they'll always be looking. Because you see, recognizing someone, it doesn't take much, but it can make all the difference in the world. It's a small thing that can make a big difference. And I encourage you to try it. And lastly, Next time you go to the movies, like you can start to do what I've done ever since I heard that story, which is once the movie is over, instead of getting up and walking out like everyone else does, stay in your seat and recognize some of the people that come up on that screen for what they did to create a memorable experience for you. Choose to make today a great day, and as always, choose to live life to the max. I'll catch you next time.